Hi folks, Brian Emble here from the New Jersey Office of GIS. I wanted to share a little tip with you um, in using the imagery warehouse. Recently, we released the 2020 orthos for the state of New Jersey. Um, and they're available in this app as well as uh, web map services that you can consume. And you can bulk download them from Amazon Web Services using their command line tools. But this app is about interactively selecting individual tiles and, and downloading the uh, files that you like. So I wanted to show you how to select a large, relatively large geographic area and um, then start downloading those tiles that are of interest to you. So uh, this app is pretty simple. Let's say that I want to download all the 2020 orthos that cover a particular area. Uh, I'm going to choose Burlington County. I happen to live in Burlington County and it is a, a large size county by area. So I zoom in a little bit and I can see that my tiles have turned on. The pink is the 1930s and the green is the grid that has the 2020 orthos in it and some other years. Not really concerned about the 1930s imagery. I have that already. I want the 2020s. Uh, see if I can zoom in another. Oh, that's a little too close. So um, here's the tile grid that we've been using since uh, I think 07. And you just use the select tool to select a whole bunch of tiles. Now there's uh, a rectangle, select by rectangle, select by circle. But what I wanna do is basically kind of trace the county boundary. I can see the county boundary base map under uh, the green tile grid. So I could use the select by lasso tool, select by polygon tool. I'm gonna pick lasso uh, just cause I like it. And then I'm just going to roughly trace the county boundary, kind of go around all the way down here towards the shore, uh, down to the Great Bay, and then back up through the pines, just tracing. You know, it's not perfect. I'm getting close. I want to make sure I select everything that's in the county. And then I unclick, and it selected a whole bunch for me. Um, now let's see. Did I get all of them within the boundary? Looks like I did. And I got some extras outside. That's okay. That gives me a little buffer uh, outside the boundary of my county of interest. Uh, it's a little over here. It does tell me there's 1,114 selected. So let's go look at those in the attribute table and we can see all the download links. Um, so for each tile number here on the left, each row, and remember there's 1,100 of them, we have uh, URLs to download the individual tiles. So like I said, all this imagery is stored as files up in Amazon Web Services in AWS in a uh, S3 bucket. So you're downloading it from Amazon, not from any state system. Uh, that works really well for us. So this first column uh, says AWS 2020 Cloud Optimized GeoTIFF. So those are the GeoTIFFs, no compression, super high quality, but um, bigger file size, around 250 meg pop. We have the compressed Mr. Sid files in MG4. They're a lot smaller. I think they're around 20 or so megs a pop. We'll look at that. And then uh, here we have the Mr. Sid in MG3 format. That's the older Mr. Sid format, but some computer-aided dispatch systems only accept that and not these other formats, these newer formats. So that's why the MG3s are here. Um, Get them all if you want. So you just click on the link and your browser will start to download it. So you can see I'm downloading this one. Uh, it does tell me there's 249 megs in size and that's gonna take a few minutes. Maybe I'll do the next one as a Mr. Sid MG4. Click on it, my browser starts downloading it. It's just over 19 megs. You can see that's, that's going a lot more quickly. So that's it, guys. Uh, lots of clicking here. You've got 1,100-plus um, tiles to scroll through and click through. But they're all there, and you can just click away and let things run. Um, that's about it. Happy downloading, and check back for more tips. Thanks a lot.